In this video, I want to review one of Mindshed's most important features, target blending. Now that we have a running schedule and have adjusted some of the uh, uh, scheduling parameters, it's time to introduce target blending. The graph in the dashboard on the left-hand side is showing the material arriving at the plant uh, in divided into high grade in red and low grade in yellow. And the black line is showing the grade of that material, the combined grade. We want to try and level off that grade. Okay, so I'm going to take a step back to set up schedule and go to targets. And in the data grid on the right hand side, I'm going to add a line. And I'm going to define uh, a, a, a target for the plant. The quality I want to target is gold. And I'm going to add a value of 1. That is 1 gram per ton in this case. So now that I've added that, I can go back to create schedule and run it. And we'll, we'll see what result that has on the um, charts and animation in the dashboard. Okay. So clearly it has met the target for every single period. We have a flat line. Uh, the, the black dotted line represents the gold, the planned gold grade. And it's using the schedule on the right. And you can see that it's pegged to 1.0 grams per ton. So effectively what it has done is when you add a target, Mindshed picks and chooses the blocks to uh, the best combination of blocks in every period to most closely achieve the target. In this case, we have achieved it perfectly uh, because in every single period it has achieved the target. Um, but in, in other cases where it is not able to achieve the target, it always picks the, the, the closest combination of blocks, or that is the combination of blocks that most closely achieves the target. Let's vary the target uh, during the schedule. So instead of having a constant 1, 1.0, let's take a step back. I'll copy this down a couple times. We're going to start with a, a grade of 0 0.8, then move on to 1, then up to 1.2. So we're going to sort of ramp up the targets. And uh, I'm just going to use my date event trigger to choose when to, uh, when to uh, enable these lines. So I'm going to say, as a period 8, increase the target to 1. And then as a period 12, increase the target to 1.2 save the scenario and rerun it. Okay, so you can see the stepped, uh, the stepped um, target change. Okay, and so for the first eight periods, it um, it's, uh, has a lower value. Then for the next four periods, uh, a value of one. And then for the remaining periods, a value of 1.2. So it's also, it, it changes the blend, clearly changes the, 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 the proportion of high grade to low grade. Now, let's put in a target that is unattainable. That, the last um, target of 1.2, I'm going to change that to 1.8 and see if it can meet it. This is to show you what happens when uh, a target is un, uh, cannot be attained. So you can see here, it's meeting the, the period for the first uh, eight, uh, sorry, meeting the target for the first eight periods, then the next four. And then right here, there's a divergence between what it can schedule and the actual target. So the red dashed line represents the target and the black da dotted line represents what it was able to schedule. Um, basically, I have chosen a very high gold grade as a target 
for the material arriving at the plant. It is in fact unattainable in the periods uh, that that I've chosen. So we'll bring this back down to say 1.2 uh, and rerun the schedule. And that's target blending.